It's nearly always windy here in the Mekong Delta. Local residents have knocked posts into the ground to break the waves here in the province of Sok Trang. At high tide, there's almost no stopping the water. But at low tide, Li Hao and his wife can walk along the beach to collect rubbish. The coastline is virtually unprotected. Most of the trees and mangroves have long been chopped down. The soil is now being eroded away. High tide is at about 4 p.m. and we catch small fish and shellfish. But the water keeps getting closer. It floods the levee and spreads everywhere. The tiny levee was built to protect Li Hao's low-lying village but often it's the water that wins out. It's a case of too many people trying to live off an ever-shrinking patch of land. The intensive farming means the soil never has a chance to regenerate. Some families have fallen victim to the floods and lost everything. The Mekong is a lifeline for the region. In some coastal areas, the mangrove forests are still intact and protect the villages from the full force of the waves. Without these natural barriers, many more kilometers of land would now be underwater. If the water level rises by another meter, as experts predict for the coming decades, in Sok Trang alone, 450,000 people stand to lose their homes. Most people here try not to think about the future, but with each passing year, the threat looms larger. In September, the water often comes into our houses. Even though there are mangroves everywhere, there are not enough to hold back the tide. People know they'd be safe from the floods far away from the river, on higher ground. But here in the delta is where the work is, and where they can feed their families. Many of the houses on the water's edge were built illegally. All are under immediate threat of rising seawaters resulting from climate change. Joachim Hofer from the German development organization GTZ is calling for urgent action. The Mekong Delta, together with Bangladesh, is the region in Southeast Asia that will be worst hit by climate change. This is where the most land will be lost to the sea, and we can already see that farmland is becoming increasingly salinated. Rice can no longer be grown even 30 or 40 kilometers from the coast. German experts are working together with the Vietnamese to introduce protective measures. Villagers are being taught land conservation. Soil erosion is a big problem. Many leaseholders cleared the mangroves to make way for shrimp farms, which promised easy profits. But it exacted a heavy toll on the land. Lush mangrove forests were replaced by a barren landscape. The interests of business were placed over the environment. Now, all that is to change. A reforestation project is underway in the province of Bac Lieu. It's funded by the German government and sponsored by the International Climate Initiative. One consideration is finding the best variety of mangrove to cope with the ravaged soil. You can see the earth has eroded. The mangroves are not so dense along the coast. We want to plant more, then the roots will hold the soil and protect our farmland from flooding. The neighboring province is hosting a workshop for locals and project workers. 
The focus is on how to protect the environment and hold back the sea. Some locals are being trained as conservationists. It's hoped that they can educate others to prevent further deforestation. The reforestation is already well underway in some coastal areas, and a number have been declared nature reserves. Officials hope the trend will catch on. Along this section of the Mekong, mangroves play a crucial role in protecting the coast. Without them, these lands would all be underwater. A pilot project is currently underway here. Different species of mangrove have been planted together so that they can better withstand the seas. Experts have discovered that monocultures aren't as durable. In some areas, the coastline has been changed markedly over recent years. Special nature reserves are designed to protect the wildlife, like this bird sanctuary near Bac Lieu. Only project workers are allowed in here. There are 77 different bird species living on the 120 hectare park, but protecting them isn't easy. The noise of the water pumps from the shrimp farms is very loud. Also, the people who live in the area pay too little attention to conservation. So it's very difficult to preserve this here, even though it's very important for our climate. Climate change is an everyday reality here in the Mekong Delta, with rising sea levels, floods and storms. The delta might be a relatively small part of Vietnam, but it plays a vital role in the Vietnamese economy. The government has acknowledged the problems and is now promising more environmental protection in the region.